Hello fellow enthusiasts of Commodore 8-bit computers. It's Steve here from Smitty's Projects. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I made a video, but um, here's the old Commodore robot guitar. But what I'm uh, looking at at the moment is power supplies and uh, some of you may have seen that I've built or rebuilt I should say or rebricked power supplies. So here's the, the old uh, square one here and just confirming that what I've done inside is I've taken the guts out and replaced it uh, with a 9 volt transformer as well as a decent uh, DC power supply. Uh, the advantages of replacing in the guts is that not only do I have to give the 5 volts that the Commodore needs, I can also deliver 12 volts. And in this particular case here, you can see I've actually added a connector for driving um, some of the floppy drives that need 12 volts. Um, even this one here, I've got the 5 volts, but I've also got a USB charger here uh, and 12 volt output, which can be used to drive an LCD screen um, and of course they've built an even more powerful I would call uh, workbench type of power supply delivering 12 volts DC as well as 5 volt DC and 9 volt AC and uh, driving as you can see here the 12 volts driving the LCD screen and the 5 volts uh, to the Commodore as well as the 9 volts but um, as we all know with these old computers, there's quite a lot of wires involved. So what I want to try to do in this next project of mine is to take uh, 12 volts. may not be this one, as I'm just playing around with this one. That's, uh, you put um, AA batteries. In fact, I found some uh, rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. <laughs> so these are exactly 1.5 volt each, lithium-ion. Um, and if you put uh, six, uh, four on each side, that'll give you exactly 12 volts. And uh, here I've got a buck converter. This uh, allows me to take a 1T DC voltage uh, down to a lower DC voltage. So um, in this case, uh, drop 12 back down to 5. And um, run it into the connector for the Commodore 64. So I'm essentially going to be able to run the Commodore and the screen off a battery. Um, the only trick, of course, I really want to do as well is work out how to replace the 9 volt um, power as well. Of course, I don't have 240 volt or, or uh, any AC input voltage, so this has got dangerous here, but I'm going to try to replicate the 9 volt AC using uh, some sort of a inverter circuit if I can. But uh, yeah, that's my next project. I um, uh, hope you guys uh, beg me along because I think it's a good thing to have the ability to run our old gear off battery and not have to worry about uh, rigging up um, the old power supplies anymore. 